right, Marvel Spider-Man 2 fans. Yesterday was a pretty exciting day for us fans because the review embargoes for Marvel Spider-Man 2 officially came out. And I am going to be covering some YouTubers, some online social media platform people, and finally the Metacritic seeing if Marvel Spider-Man 2 is a failure or a success. start off by saying that this game really is a triumph. Insomniac has delivered on an epic, truly mind-blowing story. A Spider-Man story that people are going to remember for a very, very long time. As a matter of fact, Insomniac Games might have just delivered one of the best superhero games of all time. This game is a masterclass in cinematic storytelling. You really get the sense when playing through the story that Insomniac has shaken off some of the initial nerves they may have had previously about handling such a massive beloved IP. Going into Spider-Man 2, they know they've done a good job with the characterization, and so you feel this confidence in the writing and direction for the game as we're now going full throttle in this well-established world. I love the way this game continues to play on the concept of when Spider-Man wins, either Peter or Miles or both loses. It's the constant struggle of what it means to take on such great power. Every single story mission I've done so far, it just seems to keep raising and raising and raising the bar every time. Like, it hasn't repeated itself once. Like, every single story mission you go on, there's something new and imaginative and exciting to do. Like, the staging of, of each of these uh, main campaign missions that I've done so far, just, I'm constantly like, oh my god, how have they done that? Like, yeah. uh, just sort of looking at the screen, like, just not believing what's going on yeah. and what I'm actually doing and just like having these incredible battles in these amazing situations. <laughs> like, again, it's hard to talk about it without going into specifics because, you know, I don't want to spoil what the setups for a lot of these yeah. missions are. But like when you when you play through them, you're just going to be like <gasps> all yeah. the time. With Marvel's Spider-Man 2, Insomniac has the unenviable task of following up two riveting superhero fantasies full of excitement and heart. While that may sound like a good problem to have, the question becomes, where do you go from there? Well, its answer is to double down. Double down on Spider-Man, double down on the size of the map, double down on explosive action sequences. In doing so, the studio has crafted another consistently exciting roller coaster ride and the best story of the series yet. All right, now that we have covered three people on YouTube who, who have reviewed the game, who like basically the review of the game, now we're going to be covering some online reviews like on like on our social media platforms. So first off, we're going to start with K Kathy Stephen. Sorry if I mispronounced that. She says, hashtag Marvel Spider-Man 2, wow, powerful, Storytelling, gorgeous graphics, improved combat, and just plain fun. I had to pick my jaw off of the floor multiple times while playing. Definitely grab this one when it drops on Friday. Now we have Xfire, who, well, it's stated from, the, from their review of their game that this is a 9 out of 10 loved while while the other gave, uh, like gave it a mind blowing score, and well, basically it's nine out of ten, right? X Five loved the game, and yeah, that is awesome. And now we are heading on to the Metacritic, the final review, and seeing if Marvel Spider-Man Two, the success or failure. All right, so here we have, as you can see on screen, the Meta score for Marvel Spider-Man 2 and guys it's official it has been branded Metacritic must play so basically Metacritic is like Rotten Tomatoes but like for mostly like, like games and all that you know and we and they have get, got given a score of 91 out of 100 that is amazing and yeah that is the summary Marvel Spider-Man 2 guys it is a huge, huge success. And like Boost said, Insomniac might have just delivered Game of the Year. And wow, this is fantastic. 
I can't wait to play. I can't wait to uh, play the game myself. And of course, I can't play it on October 28th. Sad. But yeah, I hope you guys are, have gotten more excited after seeing all these reviews. And I'll see you guys in the next one.